All right. Just doing final checks. Make sure everything's good. Audio looks good. Visual stuff looks good. We're good. Doing a, for anybody that is watching, doing a test stream at the moment um, for our town hall meeting, which will be starting at 4.30. Um, and then we should have everybody here by then, around then. We'll talk about a bunch of stuff. So. Welcome, welcome. See. Some viewers are up and on there. We'll be uh, starting town hall meeting around 4.30. Once we get everybody into the audio chat so we can all talk. And then... <laughs> can you Can you hear us? Or can you hear me, Edgar? Well, now I know chat works, so I can see that. Sweet. Okay. I've done some tests this afternoon. Uh, let me turn my audio down a little bit. I did some tests this afternoon um, where I recorded a couple streams uh, and then went back and checked the audio, but you never quite know what's going to happen. That and I'm listening to myself bounce back through my computer in my other ear, so I may have to change that at some point. I don't like hearing myself. Welcome, everybody. I don't have a fancy, uh, God damn it, hold on. There we go. I don't have a fancy intro or anything like that to display or show off to make us look super duper fancy. So we'll just start here. And then I'll put up the other stuff out as we move along. I smell dirty work. You are dirty work, Mr. Dead Eye Tom. I like this. this is like pre-stream uh, shit talking. There we go. Audio still seems to be working. Don't lick the stripper pole. So well, somebody's got to wax them. I see a mum's ups. Ops is here. <gasps> um, <gasps> can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Wow, much better this time, too. Yeah, they're pretty clear. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Can anybody hear Mums? 
We got a couple people in in chat already. You do. Dead Eye Tom says why. Like why? The letter why? <laughs> so I'm assuming that's a yes. Edgar says I can. So. All right. Things seem to be working. Yay! So, what I figured out is that I use my my Discord account as the main on the computer, which uh -huh. all of the audio will go through that. And then I use my secondary account on my phone so that we can talk, and then everything just gets picked up and broadcast. Ah, uh, sneak, sneak. Tricky, tricky. Yeah. Mm hmm For some reason, the, um, whatever problem they're having with Discord and audio on the personal computers on PCs, uh, it's just across the board. It's for everybody. So there's just general issues with that. But it works fine on the phone. Huh. So. Just got to be a okay. little sneaky on it. Okay. We'll see. I've got my phone sitting stationary in a corner. So hopefully that will be sufficient. Do you have like rabbit ears coming out the, the headphone jack up to the roof? and? <laughs> I a lot of fire staying up there trying to adjust them. Yeah, he's not here right now. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. That would have been funny. Actually, right now I'm trying to work on my Orbeez. Well, I have internet and I can get into Destiny. Ooh, fun, fun. Yeah, I'm on the Leviathan. I probably got about 10 more minutes and then I'll get kicked. Probably. <laughs> it's about 4.30 is about I guess my bedtime I don't know <laughs> you got an early bedtime uh -huh, for destiny apparently mm. so metal was going to be able to be here yes as far as I know yes um, I know he said he was trying to get home from his trip I see him. I see his name keep popping up and on, but I'm not sure. He's just lurking. He's, he, uh, he hasn't joined the chat or anything yet, but he's lurking. Then the Thunder. Thunder. He's is he is he honestly golfing or is he just being? I don't know. That's the thing is like he said that and I'm like. Isn't it like smoky as all hell up there? How are you golfing today? Well, because sometimes they do that, you know, because of the customers. You got to go hang with the customers, even though it doesn't That's mean you have to be smart. True. That's true. Oh, I see a metal. Hello. Hello. Oh, my God, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. Hey, this is the last time we had that amazing. <laughs> I don't want to talk about what happened last time. <laughs> I don't know. I had like two headsets going, so I don't know. <laughs> I know. Well, at that point, I was thinking, well, would it be easier if I just called Mums on the phone with, you know, the real <laughs> phone number and tried to do it that way? Oh, I know. It's so put ridiculous. it on speakerphone next to your mic. Right? <laughs> yeah. Basically what I did. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, this finally works kind of i mean there's still one piece that's broken but oh last time we were i was trying to i i have a mac computer and uh i tried to do the split operating system and run pc with windows on it so that i could pull um... the audio from that from uh, i forget what it's called their little where you can basically pull Xbox Party Chat. Um, gotcha. And I try to pull that in and run that through OBS, but um, that was not happening last time. So I had to put mums on a headphone, which I basically wrapped around my microphone. So anytime <laughs> she talked, it would come out of the headphone into my microphone and then back into everybody could hear it. The fun. So it was a shit. <laughs> hey now at best 
even though I had tried things out and try and ha- had it kind of figured it out, still went to hell at one point. So, well, but my my stuff is just so wonky that. Well, the thing went out, and this is why I'm glad we did this a couple of days ago or right. yesterday. Is uh, I had an extension in my computer that I was using that was supposed to be able to take the and split it and put it into OBS. Well, it, it's been out of date for like six years, so <laughs> it was actually corrupting every. Oh my goodness! On the computer and making things run slow, and it was just it was awful. Oh, so I got learn? rid of that, and Let's I got see. something new. And it's like a miracle. It works beautifully with no slowdown. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was more than likely my fault. I will accept all. All right. I'm going to switch over to our, our screen. Ba, ba, ba. So am I supposed to be looking at something? You can if you want. I mean, I'm gonna bring up um, the document on on the one the we already looked at. The one that's yeah, that's already out. And then I figure we can go through, modify what we want, add what we want, um, things like that. Take out things that are just egregious and we don't need anymore. Um, stuff like that. Just kind of update and figure out what all is going on any ideas that people have and stuff for new things and stuff. When just streaming from the game, dicking around, solve your chat issues. Yeah, but then we can't really display much of what we've got going on. So like I can put on which one is I'm it? just running around dinking around. <laughs> yeah. See I can put the I can put this document right on the center for everybody to see that I talk so you guys can see the things that I'm typing out and, and changing and stuff like that. And you don't have to take my word for it. If I want a taco, I put a taco on there. Taco, taco. Taco, taco. Yeah. We may just have to start without Thunder. Like you said, because he's golfing, possibly. We don't well, know. Well, and sure. for them, for them, it's still early. It's only 3 30. Right. All this loot, all this ammo schmammo. I'm going to jinx it right here. Your internet is doing really well right now. Uh-oh. Oh uh, well, I'll, I I know for Destiny I don't have much longer, which is why I'm just trying to get these orbs. I'm not doing anything of high high maintenance. Right. So modifier got on mm-hmm. here. I told him to come to the Leviathan and just kill things. Right. Right. For the, for the first time, in all the times we've done the raid, he actually understood what he ran around and saw the standards and stuff Mm -hmm. and actually understood what we were doing (laughs) because usually he just guarded the pad you know oh that's right yeah we just entry. yeah so he never he he had no idea where where the things came from or anything so it was kind of gotcha yeah the interesting thing about that rate is every week that location yeah so it's not always in the same spot twice well even even at that he had he was like oh wow this guy's got this thing i just killed this guy and he did i said uh yeah (laughs) (laughs) but it's just you know he never um you know he just killed things he wasn't too worried at the time whatever was going on I know, we just tell them, all right, modifier, you point, you shoot here, and we'll do the other stuff. Yeah. Go. Yeah, just funny. Funny stuff.
So are you home, Metal? Or are I you am. driving? Nope, I am home. Booyah! Got did, my... did we take you away from responsibilities? And... Say what? We didn't take you away from responsibilities. Oh, no. my. Um, we got home earlier, probably around... Uh, Twelve thirty one, and I did. I had kid duty up until just a few minutes ago. Nice. My wife, mother in law, took my daughter and youngest out to eat, and my son stayed here. Gotcha. So it's just just me and him at home right now. <gasps> I got him watching some TV, and hopefully he'll be content during the course of this conversation. But... <laughs> Good luck. You no, know, I, I gave him yeah. up. And I said, all right, this is what's going to happen at 4.30. We're going to do this, this, and this. You guys can play on your games and do whatever you want. I don't mind if you're loud or whatever like that, but after we get done with this meeting, then we're going to do some dinner and stuff. So can you guys continue? Mm. And you're still, yes, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you can ah. drink all you want, Edgar, as long as you're not. That's fine. <laughs> cool. I just got my 250 Orby drops, so I'm happy. Mm, nice. 750? 250. 250. 250. Not too bad. About a, how long did it take me? When did I go in there? Probably about four, so about half hour by myself. Not no, that's bad. not bad. Uh -uh. Pioneer, is Thunder still out uh, golfing? Bless you. Mom says bless you. Kid. Oh, so is it not updating my browser? Oh, oh my god. Lots of half hues. Try that. See if it does it correctly now. Okay, so what else am I working on? Actually, if I was smart, I would get out of here before I get kicked. Does it move? No, it doesn't move. I want to thank everybody for all the hard work you do and the engrams I can pick up from Hawthorne that have helped me level up little by little while I haven't been able to do much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> right, let's see if I can get this browser fixed. Interesting. It doesn't actually go up or down. Very interesting. Display capture, let's do that. Display, no, zero. You have to kill a hundred enemies without reloading your weapon. How does that work? Uh, very very careful. Does the gun reload itself? Kill 100 enemies. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, oh, my brain. Never mind. I don't know what I'm reading. You just got to get streaks. Five, yep. ten. Yeah, okay. My brain's like, how in the world are you supposed to kill 100 people without... All these things. Okay. There we go. Uh -oh, that will display better. So 
I'm, I'm not going to be touching my phone to look at anything so that my thing won't drop. So I won't see anything you display. Okay. You're, you're fine. It, it, okay. It's basically just the document. With... Okay. I'm going to leave, leave on this. And then here we go. Now it goes up and down. Yeah, you got it fixed. Uh, he's driving his boss to the airport. Then he should be on. Okay. Okay. I can't believe he played golf in that smoke. Still, they do, you know, fun things. Yay! <laughs> so I guess we can get started while um, Thunder gets rolling in. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it rolling, Thunder. Anyways, I'll, I'm done now. <laughs> That's good because I have no <laughs> idea where you were going. <laughs> I, I know. We've we've added a uh, healing bear. He said mm -hmm. he was going to try to join if he had the time and the opportunity. Uh, um, actually, I should double check. He should have access to this channel. Permission sub admin. Yeah, so he can join at any time uh, and he can give us uh, his ideas. Um, but I kind of wanted to go over our old document. I mean, Part of it's kind of relevant, part of it's not, because, I mean, I tried to add different sections for Division and ES. And actually, I should pr probably add one more for, like, other games. Since we have multiple things that we do now. There we go. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um. Since our last town hall meeting, lots of things have changed. Uh, thanks mm -hmm. to metal, we have a crap ton of uh, bouncing around in our Discord, which is very awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate mm -hmm. all of your hard work with that. Well, it's That's been, been fun. really nice. I'm glad. Um, I know it's been very interesting to watch and see you know, your post has been up for division and trying to get people in, but uh, um, there are people that play ESO and Destiny and stuff like that, and they're kind of all coalesced in this game sphere, and it's been kind of cool to see people come in and be like, yes, I play this too. Add me to the Destiny uh, clan too, and it's like, awesome. And uh, getting to see and meet some of those people has been kind of awesome. <clears throat> yeah, and as Def I mean, we're we hit capacity now, which is cool, um, right? And as spots open up, I'll I'll just continue to kind of shoot for that whole multi-game aspect, and uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's been working real well for us, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Um, definitely, definitely gave us a lot more rounded, well-rounded rounded people in different areas and stuff like that because there are people that bounce around and play, play different stuff so that's been cool yeah um, I don't I know I know with the um, reddit posts and stuff like that I tried to go th through the official channels and see what was going on with the that stupid image that continues to be posted <sighs> um Tech support said there's nothing I can do to change it, nothing they can do to change it. That's kind of just baked into the the way it is. Um, but I don't know if they really sh about what's actually going on. They were just support support. They weren't anybody that does any of the coding or anything like that. So, so uh, the guys that I, I did a forum post and asked and I got a response and they said it should update over time unable to give me an amount of time of how long it takes so it could any time before that image changes um, one of the other assets or the new asset that's at the top of the list on our um, I keep checking just to double check uh, for new people that see it it should be the um, image, not the 
um, Anthem one, but mm. I don't know. I looked on other phones and iPads and stuff like that, and it's not any different for them. I'm not quite sure where that that all lies. I mean, to be honest, it, it never really bothered me. Um, yeah, you know, would be nice, but it's not gonna make or break yeah. anything. Yeah, it was just unfortunate that it. I I had realized it's I could have changed it, and then it would have represented you know more of our post or more of dungeon protocols rather than just being <laughs> an image of just anthem. You know what I mean? So. Wasn't that something that you can change in time, you know, come up with something to replace it? Is that, yeah. do you have to pull that image? Um, I don't know. It's just whenever the um, the URL is first put in, what it does is it goes to the website and it brings up a list of all of the images in the site. And it just takes the first one and it goes, all right, that looks good and puts it on the post for this is what represents. Um, I didn't realize which one was at the top of our list at that time. Hopefully, in time, it'll they'll update their asset list on Reddit, and it'll go and look for a new image and pull that and put it in there and change it out. Why are it's you pulling the images from there? Not me. That everything's done on Reddit's is Reddit, so oh, I have okay. no control control over it they their whole system goes and finds the images and sets it up but then it stores them and doesn't allow anybody to mess with them yeah. right so right basically whenever well, yeah. we did the the recruitment post when i would attach the the live link to our website it mm -hmm. would automatically attach that image how weird yeah huh? it would pull the anthem image it would pull it the test. anthem image that it had <laughs> yeah it was a test <laughs> It's all a test. <laughs> That's all technology is. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> We're just poking and prodding it until it <laughs> does what we want. Oh, man. So with our expansion into more games and more people and stuff like that, you know, Healing Bear had said, hey, I'm interested in help some of the stuff. And I saw that as an opportunity to be like, oh, cool, he's really into posting, you know, information about the games and uh, updates and things. Uh, uh, and he's got time to do it and he's interested in doing it. That would be a good place for him to be able to do that. That gave him like a sub admin role, put his role into different sections and he can post things or like he was trying that bot that he had built that pulls mm -hmm. from Twitter um, which he told me about it at first I was like oh that sounds very interesting I'd be interested in trying that out and seeing if it works um, so and I think it's pretty cool I, I know it, initially he wanted to put it in, in the four channels that we have it in now and then all of the he wanted to do one in Borderlands Nintendo Master, and I think Call of Duty. I was like, well, I think we should probably cut back and do the and see how that goes and see yeah. how overload it is or if it's over underload and then we can adjust from there. And that's kind of where we're at with testing that is seeing what what is too much and what makes it. With those, I, I do think it is nice though keeping them out of like a chat channel as opposed to an announcement channel. Um, yeah. Because it, That's yeah. That's kind of why I wanted them there. I didn't want them just continual blast in like the normal division chat. And I figured the announcements channel was a good place because nobody else can post their us. And then if that you bought was working correctly then you know it would be a good place for that stuff to go and not get lost or it'd be kind of like a repository where people could go back kind of like you were doing mums and looking through the eso stuff and being like oh i'm those are the stuff that i missed or whatever yeah
Yeah, Dead Eye Tom, we went, we went, we went hard on that at the beginning there, just to see how it would work, um, because the bot it can't differentiate what is a a primary tweet and what is a retweet or a reply. So it just goes and all of these things are good, and then it pulls them all and just starts posting them one at a time. Um, which, like with the Destiny accounts, um, like the Bungie Help, they do a fairly good job of only posting information that is relevant to the game and not replying to people or mixing in a bunch of random stuff. So uh, one of the adjustments for the division was finding a channel, a Twitter channel that does similar. So I think that'll help out reduce the amount of uh, pings that we get and, and still give us relevant information. So then we don't have to go track down that information and, and post it manually ourselves. Yeah, see with ESO, there's um, I think because they have so many, um, they have quite a few streamers that give out a lot of the current information. There's not um, a lot yeah. of uh, avenues, which is totally fine with me. Um, a little well, bit is good. Don't need don't need repeats of the same stuff. So right. Well, how old is ESO? ESO is older than Destiny. I thought so. So, I mean, the amount of people running news and stuff for ESO is, is limited and smaller but uh, there is there is still value in like, like the stuff that is coming up out of there which I well, think is I think not I, yeah I think the reason it's like that is because ESO does um, Zoss does uh, almost not quite weekly but at least once or twice a month they do big patches you know adjusting mm -hmm. stuff all the time and they put out pages on their forum. They have they utilize their forum a ton. And so they mm -hmm. have pages and pages of all the information on the actual forum. So gotcha. if people really want to know, that's where they would go. So they only tweet tidbits because, you know, and letting people know, okay, this is out, this is out, this is out. You want to know more, go here. And that's that's where all the chatter is, is on the forums. Right. Um, because that's where the, you know, the like one of the ones they did here recently was like 20 pages of fixes they were doing. And so, right. you know, it, all the chatter goes there instead of flooding the internet. Right. So that's kind of, kind of how they've chosen to do that. Well, I know with the patch bot that we have, they do destiny and division and i was hoping that they had eso but unfortunately they didn't and i wasn't oh, it's sure okay. why but uh, i was i was hoping to be able to put that one in there for that as well they did not support that yeah yeah and that's okay because like i said there's there's eso right now is a quiet place and um and it's okay it's quiet um because right. it's one of those things that people have to really decide that's what they want to do and and right. sometimes it takes a while for people to decide that. So it's hello? it's not that big of a deal. <gasps> hello! Oh my god, there's a thunder. A long distance. <laughs> Are you in your truck? <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> I am driving from an airport back to a location that's not an airport. <laughs> uh, that's this profound. Feels, <laughs> this feels like B should drive through all over again. It doesn't it? I dropped off right. my boss at the airport and now I'm driving home. <laughs> <laughs> well, drive safe. How's the smoke out there? It's better today. I know earlier today it was down to like uh, 180 one, or 165, 170 uh, was I think the best I saw. So uh, that's good. Yeah, a lot better. A lot better yeah. overall. Yay. That's much, much better. Yeah. No, it's super good. Comparatively, I mean, oh. a little smoky. It's been raining all day. I was at a golf. We had a work thing for a, a golf. I had to go golf for work, and it's been raining all day, so I'm wet. But other than that, it's good. 
Rain's good. Cool. The rain is good in Fire Town, yes. Yes. Yeah. Very good in Fire Town. Well, hopefully it'll so get some of that stuff. Give me the five minute rundown of what I've missed for the last thirty minutes. A B C D. Um, <laughs> that was five less We were just talking <laughs> Perfect. Talking <laughs> about um talking about the people we've added and um recruitment posts uh reddit a little bit um healing bear and our bot with the info uh info dumps and stuff like that and that's where we're at okay new people so, are new people bots are bots and <laughs> about dumping trash yep yep that's that's about <laughs> right nailed it you're on board. Thank you, sir. Perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now I got to figure out where we're going to go next. Um, so we talked about the bot and healing bear and stuff like that and adjustments that we're going to continue to make to that. Try to make it work for us. Um, I mean, if it comes down to it, we'll go we'll back, back to the hosting of stuff. Um, but I think uh, the adjustments we made today, I want to see how they work out, how they go. Uh, Fox or the Games News channel, I don't mind that one being, you know, posting a whole bunch of stuff. That gives people an avenue that don't Twitter a whole look and see uh, information that. They might not get elsewhere, which is not a bad thing. And then people can always uh, mute that channel. Like I, I have it so that it notifies me, but I don't have it so as my phone or do anything else. It just tells me I have messages in there that I haven't read yet. So people always have that option to mute certain channels. If... Mm -hmm. Hi, Rachel. Thunder, your sister's here. <laughs> oh. Mom, your hey, daughter's here. Something came up. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, <were> too. Man. <laughs> okay, so let's... I definitely think it's a lot of information, and I know that, like, I I've definitely noticed there's a lot more notifications on the phone. But like you said, I've got it set so all the channels except for the general and uh, the destiny are muted so uh, when I log in I, it's highlighted that hey there's new posts there but I don't get notification it doesn't pop up and go ding hey you've got a new message to go look at so there's a lot of information but I, that's exactly what I did too because I like to you know sometimes like I'm not that interested in what's going on with a lot of stuff but we have the switch now for the kids and for me and so I'm like oh hey what's going on in the Nintendo it's nice to be able to scroll through and see some of that stuff so no I think it's good yeah, I, and I I was hoping that it would was, uh, and I think if if we can listen to it, like I think he had like four or five different uh, tweeting accounts in each one of them. So when we reduce that down to like one, um, we'll have to see how well that that works out. I think he took all of the bots out of ESO one. Let me double check. Yeah. That. He did so he's gonna he's gonna manually post those himself which thank you healing bear um division is down to one so that should reduce the amount in that one and i think destiny still has two yeah destiny the game and bungie help which they hardly ever tweet unless it's important important information so we'll see how that goes um for a little bit here maybe we uh if we need more information so we can always add more, but um, I think if our our Discord was a much bigger, like a thousand people, yeah, I would say as much information as possible because there will there are people looking to eat, eat that kind of stuff up. But since we are uh, under ninety people, slow play it a little bit and then make things work. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, it makes sense to have stuff that people are. Um, going to use and at the moment we don't have so much stuff going on that you need that yeah. you know a huge volume so that's all good 
Well, and the cool thing is, is it's expandable. So we can always go down, we can go up, we can we can adjust and move, which is what we want and stuff. Um, the problem with some of the other bots is they're limited. Like they give me one function, but all the fun functions that I want in one. So that's why I have to have two or three different bots for different things because I want specific things out of each one, but they won't give it all to me in one place. So right, right. Unfortunately. All right. So let's talk about our our primary games and how we how we have things set up and whether or not we like the way that is set up or um, we need to make adjustments or things like that. Um, so currently we have Destiny Division and ESO as a as a small side piece. Um, Sorry, mom's no offense. No, uh, not a problem. <laughs> um, I I think I was talking to Thunder about this. Um, I think it was last week. Um, I like having Destiny as our primary primary game just because it seems like um a lot of people kind of fall back to it when they're doing other stuff. Division is very close second. Like those two are very interchangeable. Uh, I don't know how much a game like Borderlands 3 is probably going to be um but without like a clan system uh, cuz you can get like 16 players in a multiplayer that in uh I don't know how many players can go in division at one time. What's that? How many players can you can you do multiplayer with more four players in division? I mean the the raid is an eight man group. Okay, so um, eight. eight. I know the what PvP like conflict is. I think four v four. Right. Um, and that's pretty much it. I can't think of any other options really. I mean, people can you party up with in the story mission? I know at times we ran with three or four. With Division One, near there, there near the end when I was playing, is that the same where you can run with three or four guys in a party? Yeah. And go do stuff? Yeah, four man, four man groups for the PVE, like story content, missions, and all that. But eight man groups for raid. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, but that that shows you the you know those two games have a player base because you can ha you can have more people playing together one time doing certain uh especially with a clan system and stuff like that that they have not knowing like borderlands how what, I, call of duty has something like that i i you set with that one up for the other uh call of duty game right i thought we had a deep ps that was called somebody did i mean we somebody had there were a few of us playing it. Um, we I mean, had a Call of Duty times. game. Usually, you, know, you can World War just. II, you just set a clan tag. And oh, okay. Was, like no clan or anything, but you could just go in and it was like, "Do you want a clan tag?" And so we'd like did DPS as our clan tag, or did right. protocols with a tag as DPS or something. So, but it wasn't like a clan, like an actual clan. It wasn't something where we could join in and. You would get stuff now. I don't know if perks. they were Call of Duties. I don't know if they had a perk system or a grouping system. But for the for the other thing, I mean, anybody could just go in and change their clan tag to Dungeon Protocols, and then they could have just said they were, oh, I'm part of Dungeon Protocols. Anybody. Could right. Do right. They didn't uh, have an official uh, system. Yeah. Correct. And that and that's kind of why I like putting those other games in their own uh, um, because. They don't seem like they're going to be as big, but they're still things that people are going to play. Are going to play Halo when it comes out next year with the new console and everything else. Like something they're going to do, whether or not it's going to be a big enough title to expand our numbers into and 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 set up its um, system and stuff like that is to be seen, uh, right. to, to be determined. 
at that time. Uh, but I think the Destiny Division ESO seem to be our our three our three biggies. When um, does Borderlands drop? That drops in September. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, we got Call of Duty coming out and the new expansion for Destiny. And I think there, there was a fourth, another big game. I thought, did they delay Halo to next year? Because initially they were saying Halo was going to come out this year. No, they're going to release it with the new console next year. Okay, I missed that somehow. Yeah, that, that was going to be uh, their big forerunner for the... Uh, not Scorpion. Um, what do they call it? Scarlet. Scarlet, Scarlet console. Yeah. Project Scarlet. Thank you, son. Appreciate that. You're welcome, Daddy. My manager's over my back telling me what to say. Kind of love it. All right. Um, so are you guys happy with the way we've got things set up? I know we've got a lot of channels in each, um, like, Gambit and competitive and throwback and lore, uh, general and that do does that seem too much or too many channels or does that seem like it's okay because it seems like we're getting used out of each, um in some ways and sometimes but I just want to make sure we're too overgrown with stuff and make it too confusing. Or if we're kind of in the middle where we're right in that sweet mm -hmm. spot. Yes, um, Pumpernickel. What? Go ahead, Metal. Oh, I was just going to say, I mean, for Division in particular, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the variety of channels that we have. But, um, I don't think we need necessarily any more right now. And that may change when they come out with DLC. And uh, I think they're talking about survival and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. that needed channel and stuff for that at some point. But it's, it's like I said, it seems like everything used. So I don't see any reason to cut anything at the moment. Yeah, the only moment. thing I don't know is is the um, the gamut channel used, or is it? Um... Because originally the thought was that we would, yeah, I was going to say, because originally the thought was that we would be running that more because of um, the thing with the drifter. But if right. most people are done with that and everything's mostly happening in the, you know, your our uh, general LFG for Destiny, then we may not need that one. Right. And that may very well be true because there's not many actively playing bit see i would I be I've... but i can't so. well but even then i mean i've seen people on talking about it online and saying that you know number of people playing gambit the barrage of season of the drifter has definitely um same thing with uh whatever the other you would go into and get smashed in there yeah Not how many people are playing that anymore either well, yeah, they kind of wore it out. Yeah, they they went a little hard on that, so it, I think it went in a little bit. So, I would definitely probably agree, Gambit. I think the last post at the beginning of last month in there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and that could just go in the regular LFG, the general destiny. Yeah, I would agree. I I can put that one in the retired section if we ever need it just in case they do another event or something with it we can yeah. always bring it back yeah <clears throat> does that sound good thunder yeah no that makes sense oh my god you got a lot more clear what the hell because <laughs> <laughs> i've got a headset on now oh, i'm out of my truck and i just got home then Am I still here? Did I lose you guys? No, you're oh, here. There no. you go. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, I think that, so I guess for the channels, you know, I think as far as channels per like game go, yeah, I think we're pretty good. I think that 
some of the channels like has already been mentioned definitely don't see as much use but i think for the games themselves i think that what we have is a pretty good setup um and so yeah i think that as of right now everything's probably good on that front yeah mm, let's see can i read this nope bum, bum, bum. Yep, people have places to go when they have things to do. That's all that matters. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like people are using it. You know, I, I know I'm not paying as close of attention to des uh, Division and Elder ESO and things, but I know right. that on the Destiny side of things, people are definitely using the LFGs to, you know, I see people posting in the LFG, and people are talking in the general, which is, I guess that's the one thing, you know, we had talked about in the past. We didn't want people, you know, like I know, there's people that are not really communicating between the different games. I know mm -hmm. there's quite a few people who are, but the one thing that is a little, I guess, questionable is that we have guys who are in a game and they're not really talking to anybody else outside of that game. And so there are people in certain in games that aren't really like interacting maybe with their every, everybody, which is something right. that we had talked about in the past how do we want to address that? Do we want, you know, we wanted fluidity between everybody. So we had the general chat for all general chatter and just people talking and having fun getting to know each other so that we all communicate and we all kind of get to know each other because there's people that are playing division that I've never really spoken to outside of, Hey, welcome to the clan. And right. so that's my only, my only concern is that was a big thing in the past that we really wanted to stick with that even as we grow in numbers of people in the destiny clan and in the division clan and in the discord in general we still wanted everybody to kind of stay in communication with each other and we wanted to everybody to kind of know each other's you know get names gamer tags display names, right. whatever you wanted so that we could all talk and joke around together and you know and the, i guess that's the only concern i have with the maybe with the number of channels but that would be that would be my only concern is we there are people who are kind of hiding is not the right term for it but you know they're kind of mm -hmm. in their in their game but not really anywhere else yeah. I mean, to be honest i think that's always going to be an issue i, I don't think yeah. that's going to yeah. be something we can escape yeah. So. yeah no and that's yeah and i that's and i think that that's something we you know it's something we've worked in the past to try to get away from and i didn't know how quote unquote serious we wanted to be about that currently so well like i, I don't i'm not quite sh sure how much I mean, we can do i know um on friday when we on last one we had a couple of the new people uh hopping on to play destiny and stuff like that cool. uh, forklift was there i was just like hey uh, you know if you see forklift on or whatever uh you know hook up with him uh, any of those people uh, uh rubber ducky or anything like that because they play earlier and stuff like that trying to you know say you know we're here to help and do things with because he was offering to help out uh i forget who it was uh, run some stuff um because they were there i was just like yeah just we're pretty easy to do just people have to be able to you know take that that little bit of a step and be like hey we please and then we'll be off to the races right but i i wondered how much people had on their own and that's why i kind of like poked it a little bit on friday and kind of was just like hey yeah talk to forklift if you see him on early he doesn't fight too often but mm -hmm. you know he's your he's your go-to guy on an early nights and he's forklift nice fights and a lot he does. Like a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Forklift, if you're watching. <laughs> I'll send this. What? I bite? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So, but it may take um, everyone once in a while to go in and just poke the bear a little bit and 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 try to get people to take that little leap and see if they start showing up and talking to people and stuff. Metal, you and I were both very very similar when we we i think i went six months without talking to 
anybody or joining any chat. And I was just like, oh, these people are going to hate me. <laughs> to do around here. So. Well, I think uh, part of the deal is some of our, <clears throat> some of the folks that have joined, um, they're pretty, pretty, uh, actually they're, they know what they're doing in that sense. Yeah. Um, and they're like the ones that are working on grinding out to get caught up in destiny. I mean, that's their focus. Yeah. And so they aren't worried about socializing as much as getting to a place where they, <clears throat> excuse me, can be useful in their brain in the activities that are going on instead of being, you know, the underling. So right, I think that's, sense. yeah, I think that's part of, of what we see, but I still think it's, um, it's important to make sure that they know that we're, we're a, a complete unit, you know, we're all, all together. Um, mm -hmm. Not, not just the destiny people and the division people who play destiny, you know, et cetera. So. Right. And that's what was kind of a nice, Nice to see people that are across the board and playing mm -hmm. different games, uh, like Archangel and uh, a couple other ones um, that they're jumping around and they'll play. Even Healing Bear jumping to Destiny and then jumping back to Division, throwing down some ESO and and stuff like that. So that's yeah, we've kind of probably cool got a, quite a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, actually, there's quite a few of them jumping around. I know Lady Which Gwendolyn is good. Went, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of what we were hoping for. We were kind of hoping when people would join, if they joined Division, that they would at least come join the Discord side or the Destiny side some. And, right. You know, right. And that was kind of our, our hope was as we're adding people, you know, obviously if they only play one game, that's totally fine. And we're not going to say, you can't join the clan if you don't play, you know. Right, Destiny. If they're a division player, oh, division, well, we can do it's that. Good to have people. <laughs> we, it's good to have people who are playing division as their primary game. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, it's super awesome to see, and that's kind of what we had hoped for when we talked about um, kind of splitting off and making, you know, letting uh, joining in more stuff with a couple of one or two other games. Initially, we had kind of hoped for people that would cross. So no, that's right. super, super awesome to see. <clears throat> Well, I think that we'll find that people that uh, game regularly tend to not play just one game. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's why yeah. um, Metal doing the multi-game approach has worked well. Um, because, I mean, when you get tired of messing with one, it's nice to have somewhere else to go to and, yeah. and people that you know. And, and it's nice to have kind of the same groups of people so you, you kind of know who's who you know, when you're hopping around, you know? Yeah, yeah so. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah, that has definitely worked out. You're making if me look Tahoe bad, Metal. Played more. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. You're the leader now. It's because his, his name is Circus Pizza. Anybody who's name is Circus Pizza is going to make us all look bad. True story. True story. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> You can't say no to a baby circus pizza. I mean, it's just impossible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So, where do we want? Um, what are some of the things that you guys want to uh, work on and move into next or do, or where do you think we're lacking in? Um, stuff that we we together need to do or um is there like spaces in different games that we need to work on a little bit because i know like destiny we definitely have lapsed on our for sure and i know that's partially my just due to the fact that i only have my two nights a week and and uh, with the amount of crazy shit they've been coming out with each season, and time it takes to get that crap, uh, it's really put a, a hamper on wanting and trying to get into raids and six or eight hours trying to complete those kind of activities. So um, I know 
that's one thing I want to try to work on. I'm hoping we get some... I'm not sure how that will work. Well, the only way the only way that part will get solved is you have to designate that even if it's only one week out of the month, you know, the second week of the month, it doesn't matter what they've released, we're going to do the raid that week. That is what we will do. That's a good and idea. And then the other time cuz cuz the truth is if you did it every other week, you could spend, like we talked about, you could spend, do it progressive, do part of it in the first part like we used to, and then finish it out so it's not so late, you know, on the weekend. But if it's a designated, then everybody knows that's what we're going to do that week. And so they can all work their, their because you're right, there's so much stuff to farm. Um, they can mm. work all the farming around mm. that. Um, and then you'll, and then you'll get the raids done. But, but right. it's got to be designated. You can't you can't let it float depending on who you find. Because if nobody's used to us doing that anymore, I mean, we've lost. We used to have almost two full raid teams worth of people. And like with Modifier and I not being able to be in the game, that's two people. We barely have one full raid worth in our time zone. I think we've got a raid worth in now in um, the eastern time zone. I think we're have enough people that hopefully start getting to stuff like that so yeah yeah but i think so, that's what we need to do it just needs to be planned so that people know that's what we're going to do that week and then you know and do it so speaking solely for the destiny side i think the the two big things we've lacked and a part of it is my fault for because i used to run a couple of weekly events and i kind of let them die because there just wasn't a lot of activity on them. But I think that we need to reach out to one person in the Eastern time zone and maybe that make them a, since we're kind of talking about a sub admin role, if somebody wanted to spearhead trying to get those earlier people together to do events and, and it'd be like, hey, do you want to once a week be like, hey, I'm going to start running stuff early. You know, I know Invernus is on early and Invernus plays quite a bit. She just plays you know, generally by the time I get on, she's like within her last 30 minutes or just got off. So I know I miss her a lot, um, but she plays quite a bit. Like from seeing her in Discord, she plays three, four, five times a week. But yeah. just I never see her on because of our time slots. I get home at five and now, you know, my schedule is going to be a lot harder um, because football starting and I'm, I'm going to be helping coach um, – two of my boys' team. So I'm going to be getting home at 8.30 and getting kids showered and in bed, so I'm not going to be looking to get online until 9 o'clock my time, which is 10 o'clock Pacific, which is going to be, you know, just later and later and later for everybody. So it gets kind of, it's going to be a little crazy for me to try to run events. Um, but I think right. that running a raid event once a month is not a bad idea. And I think that maybe that is since we've gotten away from that, but I think that we need to have some weak things too, um, mm -hmm. where we need to talk to, you know, some folks and be like, Hey, we would really like somebody to kind of spearhead. And, you know, we, you could, you know, Tahoe, you could spearhead something on one of your two days, but I know with you only having the, you're trying to do a lot already, but you could say, you know, Hey, every Tuesday we're going to do this. And, you know, I'm not going to have football on Saturdays and Sundays. So maybe I need to try to start looking at doing something over the weekend again. And I can talk to the wife. We're also, for me, this next month, month and a half is going to be super crazy till the end of August because we're moving. And so I'm going right. to have limited time. Um, well, you're going to lose your internet. And too, then so. we're possibly going to be losing internet for the month of August. And, we're going to be completely gone for 14, 12, 14 days. Um, and so I'm going to be, I'm going to potentially be gone all of August, but right. we are, you know, I can look at trying to do something on Saturdays before that. If I have some free time now, we can look at trying to do something um, when I get back, but it'd be really good to talk to one of those Eastern central guys and be like, Hey, rubber ducky Fox or Fox <laughs> uh, forklift or uh, in Vernus and just be like, hey, do, or even Deadeye, do one of you guys want to spearhead and do a early event? And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It could just be like, we're going to do nightfalls and do strikes and just make it a 
a thing that you do. Like when I did nightfalls, I mean, the, for the first, like, I don't know, four months I did nightfalls, I would run 12 nightfalls, 13 nightfalls in a night. I would just sit there and mm-hmm. run nightfalls for four hours because we I would still sit haven't there got my duty and... bound. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, and so we would we would do that. And uh, some people wanted to farm. And so sometimes we'd have, you know, sometimes we'd have two or three teams running because you'd yeah. have guys who wanted to farm. And so my goal was to get as many people through as possible. So I'd get one or two guys, but maybe I'd run like two with me and Pioneer and a third. And then somebody else was like, well, I want to farm this. And so Pioneer would hop out and then me and let's say rubber ducky and we'd have a third. And so we'd just keep cycling through people and then uh, Pioneer and Rubber Ducky might be like, hey, we just want to keep farming this. So then we'd have another group split off with three guys, and they'd just sit there and farm it while I worked people through. And so, I mean, I would run 12, 13, maybe even more nightfalls in a night. And I did that for months, and I did that on oh, a night. Every night at this time is nightfalls. Anybody who wants a nightfall done, we need mm-hmm. to do nightfalls. And I think one of the big things that we're missing right now yeah. with Destiny is we're missing the end game stuff. And we're missing progression in certain like certain things like that. Like, hey, Crucible, anybody who wants to work on Crucible, like right now, if you want your Revoker, you need to hit 3,500 uh, yeah. uh, Valor. You know, uh, if you want to work on Gambit, you know, you got to hit all those bow kills and wins and stuff with bows. And so, you know, you, that's something to work on. And now with Lumina, people need, um, or not with Lumina, with... Uh, no, oh, yeah, Lumina, you got to get the kill in Game of Prime Dude. and Vlad Juju. So, I mean, I think it, we need to talk to some people, and this is something that I, I was doing. And honestly, I think I quit last year at this time because it got really hard because I was having to push everything back so late because once football started, right. I wasn't getting home till mm-hmm. 9 o'clock. Right. And then everybody kind of fell off and nobody really kind of carried that. And I think that we need to find one or two people who are willing to set aside some time each week to spearhead a couple of events and i think that will really help you know and yeah i think that if we set some things in stone and then the other thing um i really think we should do is uh, besides that is we need to plan a couple of fun things like the srl thing i know the srl thing didn't work out the way we had hoped to we also don't have that many people in the clan right now who were d1 players who still have d1 I think right. that if we were like, hey, who wants to do a clan gambit tournament? You know, and gambit's hard because it's four on four. And I know we don't have a lot of people who necessarily want to do rumble, um, like 1v1 stuff. or But, you know, we could set up some tournaments. And I think it'd be a really good idea to try to set up some sort of a tournament. We could do a, we could do like a nightfall strike tournament. Okay, these are the modifiers. Mm-hmm. You have to use these modifiers. And... Uh, any weapons you can use whatever you want but we are running this nightfall and you take a picture post it in the channel and whoever gets the highest score with these modifiers wins a dps cup (laughs) you know and you know we send them a dps mug i think like if we do something once a month once every couple months that'd be a a fun thing that we could kind of make happen that we could do it once a season and we could do, yeah, we could do a seasonal. What's the seasonal event right now? I'm oh, not there sure, you, you know, maybe that's not the best. I, a seasonal event might not be best because, like, this was Menagerie. So, how do yeah. you score a Menagerie? You don't really, you know, I guess speed run, Time? see who can complete it yeah. the fastest, yep. see who gets the highest. You still need the, six for- yeah. So, I think that, you know, something like that, you know, last, last season it was Gambit, the season before it was Bull, I get the highest. You know, score on a black armory thing or something but i think that it would be really good to try to do something like that and you know um get some sort of an involvement some sort of a a challenge within the group and you invite people in and you know we have some guys who are division and destiny as a sub game we have guys who are eso and maybe play a little, dabble a little in destiny and invite those guys too and just be like hey this is for everybody you know get a group together if the uh, division guys want to get a quote-unquote division group to come try to beat the destiny guys in our game and you know want to show us who's boss and they want to do just a division oh, group then and have them come in and try to wreck us and you know i think there's some really awesome ways that we could do that and we've got enough people in the discord and we've got enough people in the clan that we can do that um the I think problem so. is getting enough people active and that's the other big problem with the raid team like mums was saying like right now getting six people online i mean i know i was 
right now, like this last Tuesday, I got on an hour late and uh, there were still, there was only three people in the chat. And mm -hmm. you said that, that earlier in the night, one or two more people had been on. So there were four people and then we got down to three. And so there wasn't really a raid group. So that's, I think well, we need to find a way to kind of get people back together. But, but that's why if early, there was, um, and this was like six o'clock, six or five, there was seven people on playing destiny. Um, several of them were new. Uh, I don't think had, you know, been in that scenario yet, or even knew what uh, our clan nights were about or anything like that. I don't think they mm -hmm. knew, but there were seven at that. And then it dropped a couple, you know, when I got on, it jumped up a couple and then it was, you know, it was off and on that. So okay. I think yeah. the people are there, but at different times and we're just kind of, kind of missing each other. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's why uh, we had originally, when we did our last, our last meeting, we wanted to get enough people for the Eastern group to be able to have people yeah. to run with. Cause that's, um, we've always been able to find people generally in our time group, but we were having a hard time finding them there. I yeah. think the people are around. It's just getting them all connected. Yes. Um, I think that's where we're at now is that the people, there's people there and they're playing. Uh, even uh, Sky is, is on during the day at, at different random times. It's just getting them to connect with each other. Yeah. Um, use the resources that we've set up as far as like the events app and LFGs and stuff like that. And, and, you know, trying it out and seeing what happens. Getting people to talk. Yeah, did what? I tell you? You want me to talk more? We, we had talked talk about more. meet and greet events at one point. It was definitely um, an idea that we had to do new member clan meet and greets. Uh, definitely worth looking into again, that's for sure. Is that going to be we're we're gonna this them. audio channel and it's going to be a mandatory meeting and everybody has to come in and we'll go around the world, the world and go by time zone and you have to introduce yourself? Yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> Hi. I'm I know one hello. person who I'm would have a hard time with that. I'm Thunder. I I'm on Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> I'm more important like than Tom. Walks on the beach and husky puppies. <laughs> puppies. Uh, I like trigger triggers with trigger hair trigger triggers with all the triggery triggering. Triggers. I didn't get to see him this year at the Fourth of July parade, so I'm pretty pissed. Right oh, now. that's sad. Go throw things at Red Cross. I know. I'm so sad. Just throw things at him. Did I saw nice house. Tom says so we can do it in private matches. It'll be fun since Dragon will. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dragon won't be here to murder us. I still yeah. have PTSD from quick scope <laughs> matches on Call of Duty. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. Oh my god. So Metal, how how do you feel like events and people getting together and things are going on the division side? <clears throat> um, I mean, for a while it seemed like people were making good use of the event app and, and trying to coordinate together. I agree. Um, it's it's definitely slowed down, um, but hopefully it's going to pick up once Title Update Five comes out and be some big changes to uh, skills and things like that. Hopefully, making more diversity with builds and that stuff. Um, I mean, I I personally haven't been able to be as diligent myself with kind of doing organized clan nights on a regular basis. Um, right seems like over the last couple months when i do happen to hop on usually i end up just looking at the roster seeing trying to figure out who's being active and all that stuff and, and trying to do more as administrative functions as opposed to actually just enjoying Fine. the game uh -huh. yeah. so now that we're kind of maxed on capacity and i don't have to worry about recruiting I, i'm hoping to get back in there and kind of get back into enjoying the game and now when you say building do you mean like Fortnite or is that <laughs> <laughs> kidding get kidding out of here nobody yeah. kick me out please please or kick me out <laughs> can you revoke my adminship for that yes 
but no. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, and I think that brings up the the point that we had talked about metal. We've got a good amount of people here, almost 90 people in our Discord. Uh, you're at max with 50 division. We're at 40 something with. Yeah, I think 43, our... you said, with Destiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 43 with Destiny. I can double That's check. pretty good. How I mean, that, that's definitely. That's, um, the, but that's every game. What? I it just it depends on um, people that are. No, I was saying how many of the forty-three. I know that the division people, the most of them are still pretty active. But how many of the? Uh, there's uh, three. Destiny I want to boot off of there. Um, okay. I mean, Phantom, Tardy, Healing Bear, AM are playing right now. So there's four playing at this moment. Um, Crimson, I don't see him coming. Um, Inverness jumps on every once in a while. Every once in a while. Venom jumps on every once in a while. Silverback, no. Cruel, no. And Demon Seption. Uh, Demon Inception, uh, my brother, no. And then everybody else is kind of um, whether or not they're jumping on and off. off. Oh, B Shack's still in there. What? Uh, so there's, I would say, of this the. We probably have 39. I would say less than that. Maybe 37 or so. Oh, really? I didn't think it was that high. Well, we have no, quite I mean, a we big actually, flux people, that have come that, in, though. Yeah, we have people that play. Um, it's just and at different, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, see, and, and uh, with uh, Modifier, <clears throat> excuse me, Modifier and I and our lovely internet, I mean, uh, like I told him, for us to get some stuff done, we've decided to try and do something a little bit before I go to work. And then my window, you know, my destiny window is about an hour, hour and a half, if I'm lucky, when I get home. Mm. And then it's it's gone. Right. You know, and there's nothing we can do about that. But it hurts the group because we're both in the same boat, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing that I do have is they did update Bungie.net so that it actually tells me when the last uh, somebody played was. Oh, nice. Yes. So I can actually, kind of like Metal does when he goes through his roster with a uh, division and it can, can tell who is and isn't playing. Um, it is yeah, a resource. ESO does that use. too. Yeah. yeah. We could use that to see who is and isn't active if, if we want to go that route. Um, also, with the um, the Destiny side, I know Defy Vendetta, uh, Defy Ghost Guy, who's in, I think, in the chat right now. Mm -hmm. They're in they're in their own clan right now in Destiny Two, but um, you know, I think they did mention they may be playing again sometime soon. I mean, right? They may I not be in our telling me that. Clan right, they were already but... in a clan, right? I'm sure they'd be more than happy to play with folks. Um, or maybe they'd be inclined to move over to our side down the road. But... Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come drink the water on this side. Uh, is, that, is that helpful? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get over here right now. Sign up for DPS. Simon, Simon the dotted line. Oh, too funny. Why did it blood? Was that better? <laughs> one of us to fight. One of us. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, shall man. be one of us. You have no choice here. Chasing random triumphs, says Pioneer. Would might, uh, or might be something we can work on, too. Well, and that yeah. could be something that um, if we're planning, you know, if we actually try to, that that's the hard part is, is they've dropped, like you said, they've dropped so many trinkets at times people have got to um, set aside the time and say, okay, tonight, you know, ahead tonight, we're going to work on this. And we used to do that. 
Well, that's the, that's the hard thing about Destiny at the moment is that we talk about you no, know, we're not getting to the end game. When you look at the way they've set up the game and and done all of their development over the past year, all of the stuff we're doing is end game stuff. We're just not doing the end 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 game stuff. You know, like right. that's where they push the raids and stuff. Or the the people that are burn up everything during the week and then need something to do. Um, Correct. That's that's where the raids have have fallen, which is a weird place for them to be in. I almost liked it better when we had D1 where we had those long streams where there, there was nothing to do and just hammer at those raids until we got them done. Uh, right. Instead of end game content like Bad Juju to chase um, the other pulse rifle and Whisper the the worm that those those things are really fun and easy and and things we can go i wouldn't say easy but things we can go do and they're end game activities but they take away from drive and that chase to go run down uh a raid for 16 hours or whatever it is right yeah. so it it's i don't know if it's just the way that they've structured it or the way um, people talk about it but it's, I think it's just how there's people a little fall. Mis- yeah. yeah, you just fall in. Well, you fall into the. I think end game, you Fall into the pattern. I think yeah. people think of end game stuff though as stuff they can't do by themselves. You can't right. go do a nightfall by yourself. I mean, yes, go. Out. You can solo. Oh. A lot of people have said you can solo the whole uh, back. You can solo all of. The- you can't do it. Oh. What is he breaking up for everybody else? Is it just me? Everybody's breaking up for me, so oh, right. that yeah. I don't count. Is that better or no? That's better. Okay. Um, sorry, I moved my headset around. What I was saying was, I think that when people game, their their thinking is things that are not by themselves. So, uh, or they cannot like you. Or ever, a lot you can do bad juju by yourself. You can do Lumina by yourself. You cannot do a nightfall by yourself. Yeah, you could go LFG for a group, but then why are you in a clan? There's right. no point if you have to LFG to find something. Like the other night, I felt bad because you know, Deadeye messaged us in Discord and was like, hey, I was going to jump on and see if you guys wanted to run nightfall, but I see you guys are doing blind well. And then he got online and LFG to group. And then, like, we finished Blind Well like 10 minutes later. And we jumped into and we ran like two nightfalls. Marshall was like, Oh, we got a message. In, or Pioneer was like, We have a message in Discord. And I was like, What? And I looked and I was like, Oh, crap, did I? No, come back. And so then we invited him to the party. And then we ended up running. Uh, or we were going to run it with him. But he was like, Oh, I actually just, uh, I'm just doing it over and over with these, with these guys. And we're, doing it and so he and he with that but like that's the kind of thing that you know and i know dead eyes had struggles periodically with uh getting groups together anyway but and that's part of what we need to try to get guys lined up with other guys in their time zones and stuff so that we can do right. but right. i think that that's that's why people join clans is because they want to go grind nightfalls they want to run rip. i think it's fine to say yes getting everybody the outbreak prime like when we were trying to work in their whisper and even if we didn't get them the masterwork getting them the whisper was yeah. something we were working at. got a lot more we went and we recruited a bunch of people and a bunch of people don't have that but i yeah. think that that was something that you know we could get back to um but i think that when people join a clan they're looking to do those activities like nightfalls like raids they're not looking to necessarily have a group to go get outbreak perfected now outbreak perfected in and of itself is a little different story because it is so challenging i would say that's it having a game for sure it is something that you definitely need coordinated and that's going to be much easier with a um with a clan so right so i guess and same thing with whisper and things like whisper and outbreak would be two that I can think of that are not um, something you could solo. Um, there's just no possible. I mean, if you can solo those, I mean, you probably don't want to be in our club. Right? I bet you, Greg. <laughs> Shut up. He could not. 
I he still needed anyways. somebody. He still needed somebody to be there to at least be a bullet sponge while he murdered everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That is true. Somebody sit in the corner. Just he was like, "You die. Go Peace. stand over there and die. And if you die, don't worry about it. They'll shoot your orb while I murder everything." Thanks, dragon. You're gonna come get me? Uh, no. Shortly. Hold on. Let me finish this, and I'll come get you. <laughs> Thanks, dragon. You're the best. <laughs> anyway <laughs> that was not a sarcastic he was really good yes he was really good <laughs> and he was very nice he was just very quiet and like just surprised us all by saying he was going to take us up raid and take the rumble and then murder everybody anyway there was a lot of death <laughs> like I said PTO Crucible matches. <laughs> matches. Hey, I went crazy at one point and started helping him, and I wasn't even on his goddamn team. It's true. I remember. That was the worst. I remember. Okay. So, I guess that's what I, all I've got for <laughs> events or where the state of whatever the question was. Right. I know I answered yeah, it, I, but I don't remember what it was. Well, and I think that as long as we're all on the same page, then we we have an idea of where we, we want to go and, and what we want to try to push. It it shows me that uh, um, if I'm going to keep doing clan nights and stuff like that, probably we should specify like m Tuesdays to be. I almost said Mondays. Fuck it. Uh, Tuesdays <laughs> need power grind stuff since you know, like healing bear was saying every three months we have a new power levels so trying to get people on tuesdays but then switching over and doing in-game content stuff on fridays when we have time and trying to push stuff like whisper and zero hour and raids and stuff like that and, and trying to get those things on those you know if we don't get enough people for that, then we can I can move into something else if need be, or I could uh, LFG and pull some randos too, and and try together to do those bigger in-game contents on Fridays. Well, honestly, well. I I think it will take us showing that we're going to be consistent, and then people show up. Right. Because people don't show up when you are inconsistent. So Very, I'm you know, sorry it, that life is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's you know, but that's the deal is Speaking and if, of which you know, I have we, practice at an hour and a half, so I, yeah. I won't be in glad night. Yeah. But if um but you know, if we said we were gonna do a raid and say we had eight people show up, um, there's nothing wrong with us splitting into two groups, two even groups. And going through and working through the first room or the second room or, you know, whatever, um, yeah. just to give people the exposure and to work on those particular mechanics and understand the, the stuff. Well, I mean, we've, I you know, know, it's been a little while, but we five man the raid. So yeah, I know. We, we could do it with. Yeah. If we I could know. get eight. If we could find two more people, we could try to five man again. And, you know, it's definitely more difficult, but if we can get eight. Like well, but years, I was thinking years, of the ones that, you know, that haven't been completed because we have several on the list. But but that's my thing is that it requires consistency to have people to know that we're really going to show up and do this, mm -hmm. you know. Well, um, Totes might come back if you actually paid him for that bet. In the <laughs> Who's paying who? Well, who yeah. Weren't you paying Totes? You had to pay Totes. You and Kane had. No, 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 no. No, nah, no, it was the other way around. I will, I will repost that video for you to watch it <laughs> okay. because they owe money for that. Oh, so maybe Mr. if you forgive you'll never the debt, that shot in a million years. maybe if you yeah. forget the forgive the debt, Totes will come back. Yeah, but true. um, God damn. <laughs> um, uh, what was I gonna say? Do events have remember. consistency, and they will come. See, yeah. I see Pioneer knows they owe me 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I will take Good job, 35. Pioneer. 
She's all about that money. Feed it back. Not in a bad way. Love you. <laughs> I'm upstairs. She's downstairs. She's going to come up and throw stuff at me. She's going to hit you. So, Metal, if we... Now that we have oh. 90 with the 50-40 split on our membership at the moment, for Division, um, since we're not highly focusing on on recruitment and stuff, we go back and forth in on it every once in a while. But maybe moving into doing some events and stuff like that. I'm not telling you what to do, but, but um, we, we could definitely oh, yeah. try to set up some stuff that we can... I mean, a lot of those guys actually have been talking to each other and been very helpful about getting together. been mm -hmm. kind of awesome to see that in that uh and i do go through and i read everything um, <laughs> for anybody who doesn't think so no. anyways uh, um but yeah they they seem to be helpful in talking to each other it just may need that little extra kick in the butt to you know make it solidified well, I I think the idea of having a couple of like we were talking about um, of having like the sub a couple of sub admins people that if nothing else just help they they um, people that are regular um, see if they're willing to help one day a week to get something done or coordinate mm -hmm. to get certain things mm -hmm. done um, would remove some of the weight of that from the admins. And it would yeah. also help encourage other people to to do things, and and ha it doesn't have to be a heavy heavy lifting thing, but something that you know is beneficial. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of why I was th thinking about the the sub admin role that uh, mm -hmm. uh, I set up for Healing Bear. Is what if we did find pe people that were willing to do those things? Uh, and we set them up in a role like that, We're like he's doing with the info dumps and stuff like that. Um, that's basically doing something that we were doing manually. And he's to uh, either do it himself or uh, automate it. Um, but if somebody wanted to run the events during the week, we could use that sub admin role as a way to have people uh, focus around them or gather around them too um kind of like a kind of like an authority figure idea but on the, on the grand pyramid of things just below us yeah mm -hmm. well because it's it's just getting other people involved and helping coordinate and do you know um because I know for a while yeah. there there was a couple of times that um, forklift did that for the earlier folks and it went really well. Yeah, um, it was working for that. a little bit and then it slowed down. On uh, some life stuff that was going on, he was like, "Hey, I can't, I won't be able to do it for a little bit." And I was just like, "Dude, that's totally, that's why I didn't set anything in yeah. stone or anything yet. We were just testing this out to make sure everything was going to work, but." Um, Def and I don't know if it's whether or not we see if somebody wants to do it that's already or uh, if me and Metal go back to the draw about recruiting people. No, you want to use people that are here. Yeah, I would. I would think so. Um, I just know the leaders and stuff out there that, and I'm, we're not that big yet. That's all. That's all possibility yet. So, on the on the division side, I've already kind of Kush kind of approached me um, mm -hmm. as far as he kind of wanted to. He had asked about being uh, bumped up to lieutenant status on man roster in game, mm -hmm. and with that, I mean, I I um, actually thought it was a good idea, so I, I went ahead and, and did that. Now yeah. by doing that. Uh, Basically, he can help me out with admin functions, so I don't necessarily have to again. If if he's already in, I can ask him to do some things on the roster for me. Um, and actually, I we talk to him and see if, if he's interested in maybe 
doing one night a week where, where maybe he organizes a activity or something regular right. basis. Um, and I'll, I'll try and do the same myself. That way, if it's two of them, getting regular, consistent, organized activities on there, it'll help, you know, just maintain right. things on, on this side. And that's uh, KU5HK1N6? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But, I just yeah, want to double check. And, and, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll probably, I mean, I'll see how he feels about doing that. Um, I wouldn't even mind asking in chat, see if there, maybe there's one other person that wants mm -hmm. to uh, step up and do that. I mean, you know, the more people, the better. Yeah. Um, right. And we'll we'll see. But yeah, like like I mentioned before, and like you mentioned, now that I'm done with recruiting for the time being, I'm I'm definitely going to try myself to to be more active on the activity side. Right. So we'll see. But yeah, I I, I do agree with um, getting more more people involved, maybe getting delegating some more responsibility to a certain certain people and seeing where that yeah. goes. Well, that, that was the getting bigger was that we were going to have to rely on some people to help us with some things. And well, part I because that... I want to be able to do as much as I can. Um, I know, especially like with our activity test channel and stuff that I've got going on that nobody else can see, but that we're trying to figure out activity log bot thing that we're working on with random and tetris tetris um so like those things have been i've been trying to focus on getting those things together and, and asking people for help rather than just trying to figure it out on my own and just Hacking my brain, brain over stupid shit. Um, and I think so too. I that's mean, been it's cool. We can we can make sure that people know whether it's division or destiny. Make sure mm -hmm. that they know and they understand. This isn't like a commitment to a full time permanent administrative thing. They don't even have to be a sub admin. They don't have to do anything. But right. we just want other yeah. people to run events because we can't always be on. You know, like my life. Right. My life's gonna be crazy for the next several months. And um, I'm not going to be able to run. Nobody else is going to want to participate. Otherwise, I would be running them again. Yeah. My life's been well, that's... for a little while. But if somebody's going to be, if they, you know, say, I'm just going to use Rubber Ducky. If Rubber Ducky's on every Wednesday, you've been on every Wednesday, how would you feel about making Rubber Ducky's Destiny Wednesday and you can make it? Make it be crucible. You can make it gambit. Yeah. Me. Well, that's what I was thinking with the sub this week We're gonna chase admin Hush. because I didn't want them to have to deal with any of the the bigger deal, but kind of take over what we were doing when we were first started out, which was you know doing helping out with events, um, you know getting um, helping people out and stuff like that. And then that would leave us open to when we do have issues with, you know, people being pity, whatever, that would, that's where we come in and, and do that stuff. And they don't have to deal with the bullshit stuff. They can do the fun stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Regarding connecting members to one another, we, we could create an introduction or sorts where people can provide information such as gamer time zones and whatever else they want we well, yeah, we had at one point where we had a time zone timesheet yeah we we tried to do that but it but we couldn't get uh it ended up nobody wanted to participate we'd have to i'm not sure how we would go about making that happen yeah what we did was we created an ex uh, a google document and we asked yeah. to just go in and sign up and put down the date times but Jeff, uh, we come just here. didn't get it yet. Did not get it. Yeah. I, mean, I think the difficulty with that is I mean we are on the free basically the burgers. go grab the burgers. Just a group of 
casual players by nature. So yes, it you know it's in the freezer. It's hard to keep everyone. I'm not in the freezer. <laughs> not if I don't give it, freezer. No, not out the garage. <laughs> But but that is that is part of the deal, yes, metal. Is that because we're not a hardcore? You have to be these things group. It's hard to get people um, that are um, yeah that have or have the time. That's part of the deal. Is a lot of people we bring in, they work and they have things going on, and yeah. they play when they can, and so it it creates this this flux. Um, instead of a, a consistent stream of people, which which adds to the being hard to coordinate things. Yeah, I can flex. Thank you, son. Look I don't guys. need to know that. I am. Strap pioneer. What'd you do with them? The guns? I put them away. I don't want them on the inside, so I can get them to make burgers here in a few minutes. They're in danger. Are the buns on there? Okay, we'll go get them. Jesus Christ! <laughs> they want to I told them. I told them. I was like, like, okay, we're gonna try to get done at six, six thirty, and then I'll make burgers for you guys, for dinner and stuff like that. But we tend to go over on our conversation, so I'll try my best. All right, I'll stop talking. I gotta no, you're them good. Like Twenty minutes anyway. Yeah. What do you gotta do? Gotta take kids to football. Football. Oh, foos, foosball. They get to go get wet and run around. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that circus? This will be my, this will be my last <laughs> practice on the sideline doing. I'm gonna sit there and point and laugh. Uh huh. Yeah, you get a coach now. Yay. No, not today. Starting next week. Anywho. Okay. Uh, Healing Bear, did you have anything else that you wanted to put up in questions, comments, concerns? Um, that actually goes for anybody that uh, is. So it's how these crazy people get in charge of this group. I do say. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If be... only then. <laughs> Seems like a good idea. From definitely ghost guy. Oh. So ghost guy. We oh, yeah, he's one of our newbies. He um so Hi, ghost guy. What we try to do is every <laughs> once in a while we were trying to do these once every season of Destiny when that was just our main main game. We're doing a town hall meeting where we kind of discuss what's going on or uh, how things we wanted to work on or change or whatever it was that was going on. Um, and this would give everybody kind of a voice to be able to come in and be like, hey, uh, I think you guys should do this or, you know, and talk about it. Um, that's why we have the admin chat open so that everybody can see too, so that you guys can see what we're talking about and what we're doing. Um, this way it's not hidden behind anything and uh, <laughs> then everybody feels like, you know, we're, they can see what, what work we're doing on certain things and stuff like that. And I know in the kind of a hard part is when secret chats were, yeah, around. we aren't you into secrets. Know. Yeah. Right, Thunder? No like secret secrets. chats? I like <laughs> secrets. <I'm... laughs> yeah, we know you do, but... I love you, but I hate you. It's a, a very <laughs> special... There's no secret Discord chat. And you talk no. about the other secrets. <laughs> Don't want to hear oh, that. Boy, that's They're really, really that's really specific. <laughs> very specific. <laughs> no secret Discord chats with the administrative people. Uh, There's other people and other than Discord and Tom is not a part of it, so it's not affiliated with Discord. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boot those two people. Is what's gonna happen? I'm gonna, I'm getting rid. <coughs> boot then it won't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna boot. Oh, I can't boot Silver now because he actually 
came back and started talking. I'm gonna boot him. I'm gonna boot him. You can boot Silver. He probably wouldn't care. No, I don't want to boot Silver. I keep trying to get him to come in. I know they're being they're being turds. I tried to get my brother to come back into Discord and uh, he's busy working on making his own game right now. So, oh, see how yeah. he is. Mm, right. There's no secret Skype chat. Wait, what? There's a secret Skype chat? No. <laughs> it's not Skype. <laughs> Oh, I've lie. I've lost all control. I I <laughs> I don't know what to do with my. Did you Did you ever really have any? <laughs> I, was gonna say. I I hope. <laughs> I, I never really asked for it, but I was like, all right. <laughs> oh, too funny. I feel like I'm leading you guys all in a journey into the nothing. Uh, too funny. Did I ever have control? No, God, no, Pioneer. <laughs> no, that's the, that's the funny thing about Dungeon Protocols is I don't think anybody has ever had control over Dungeon Protocols. It's always been this weird, like, free form, do whatever the that's the why you though. Want kind of... Yeah, well, it was way too much I'll free form. Free you in the... the form. Yep. Lots mm -hmm. of dick jokes. <laughs> but that's but that's we but can... but but that is what it was, uh, you know, back in the day, what it was established as. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I like what it is, so I don't know. You guys will have to decide what you want to do about that. Well, we are I still lovable jackasses. I, I I do. Uh, we're just polite, lovable jack. Mm -hmm. S's now. Polite's good. Polite's yes. good. Manners we is are, a good thing. I would almost say we are single we are no them. longer the most hated clan on the internet. I would I would <laughs> um, we're we were at one point getting better. Probably we was. were at one point uh yes. I'm sure. <laughs> I've heard before my time or after my time? Or before your time. Time. before oh. your time, I'm sure. Before your time. Wave. Gotcha. Just thinking about the people that were here before, I could totally see that. <laughs> I have no <laughs> uh, Wait a minute, I've been here for a long time. Are you talking about me? God damn it. <laughs> uh, well, no, you were the only squad one that was here. <laughs> no, we're, we were the quiet one. Yeah, you That's right. were the quiet That's one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We were just watching the mayhem from afar. That's fair. Yes. Red was dabbling on the fringe, just trying to stir up trouble. <laughs> he was trouble. Are you kidding me? I, I would. I would agree. This is cool. I most hated. But we we did hold that title for Destiny for a, a little. Or so so I was told. Oh, I'm sure. sure. Very proud, so. We are I'm better. We are better now. We we Yay. are rehabilitated now. <laughs> I can unhabilitate. No. I can. I'd like to see that. Rehabilitate? No. <laughs> Tahoe, no. Uh, I'm making it worse. <laughs> Say it's I Bell can reverse fun. this image. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can. You guys go do that in a private match and have fun. How's that? Ooh, yeah. Uh, we you still owe me. Are you what? A one v one. And no eyes, Luna. And... There's no eyes, Luna. Yeah, whatever the mission. You cut out. No eyes, Luna. And no... no, whatever the machine gun. Like. Oh no, recluse. Machine gun is no. No Luna's howl. No. No hand cannons. No, no, you guys have to use the same weapon. You guys have to use the same weapon. Oh, I have to use the same weapon? Ugh. Yeah. All right. Something neither one of you cannon. like. Something neither of us like. That's rocket, right. Rocket launcher? <laughs> That's modifier. The colony. <laughs> the colony. Oh, oh, that would be. Colony awful. versus colony. And the only other weapon can be a sidearm. 
<laughs> yeah. That would be amazing, actually. All sidearms. That would be fun. That would be fun. Sidearms and colony. On. First oh one to colony God. wins. When come down. It'd be okay. also close quarters. <laughs> all right. So, what's next on your right. agenda, there, boss that, boy? That's all oh, I got at the moment. Okay. Uh, so, if uh, really we he's are, in trouble with are, the boss because he's not cooking burger. So yeah. I the <laughs> boss is getting actually. You know what? I'm surprised my daughter's not out here yet because she's the one that's because I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so she didn't hear me, so I'm still okay. But yeah, I think uh, I think we're good for the moment. So my take right. from this is uh, from earlier that people are new people. People are new people are new people. We're dumping the trash, and that we need more of it. Is that going to sum it all up? Yeah, that sounds about right. Get back yeah, to people. the basics. Organize yeah, activities. The, the yep. basics. Drunk raids every Friday. <laughs> Drunk raids every Friday. That that oh would my. bring uh, totes back. I, I might come back to does. Destiny for that. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, is he threatening Ooh. us with that? Or <laughs> no, that was a that was a promise, not a threat. <laughs> mm. oh, that's funny. That was a I might was a promise. Uh, he might. <laughs> he has word Not alterations. For sure. <laughs> but he promises he'll definitely think really hard. You would think about it. If yeah. we start doing drug trades. All right. And so uh, we're going to also uh, set aside, pick the second week of each month or something in Destiny at least and make it because we have many Maybe. raids. You guys have many raids you need to accomplish before Shadowkeep, man. Yes, we do. We've got Many things. Yeah, many things. Pioneers are on board for the confirmation. Yeah, she's already. Mm -hmm. I've got confirmation. Confirmation. She's already drunk. What are we talking? You're drinking. You're not. Drinking. <laughs> you said we're going to. <laughs> I'm making the taco dance on our stream, by the way. Okay. I made the taco bigger now, dude. Okay. okay. All right. Just first, have fun. All right. Awesome. Have a good dinner, everybody. Bye. Bye. Later. <laughs> How do I get out of here? <laughs> You're not innocent. <laughs> I thought I was innocent. Still here, of course. I'm still here. <laughs> oh, mom! I never said you. I was innocent. Oh no! Did we lose it? Oh. No, I'm okay, here. we're still here. Yeah, I was trying I to figure out a boot you, and it wouldn't let me. Now that <laughs> Mums is gone, we can do the the, uh, the after uh, after uh, party. The after party. Yeah. Woo! Let me Just refill my drink. Everybody. We can <laughs> we can talk about whatever we want. And we can cuss. Yeah. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger bombs. Okay, maybe not that crazy. Huh. <laughs> You're rude. All right. Um, right, bye. I'm gonna, I'm booting, I'm booting Thunder first. Oh no, I can't boot him. Yeah, you can't boot me. Oh, you I can. The, you don't. Have ah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, metal. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Later.